Phylum Echinodermata is the last of the invertebrate phyla. All organisms in this phylum are exclusively marine, living on the shore or at the bottom of the sea. Echinodermata has a worldwide distribution and the phylum contains around 7,000 known species. The adults are recognizable by their usual five-point radial symmetry and they include starfish, sea urchins, sand dollars and sea cucumbers and also the sea lilies. Adult echinoderms are found on the seabed at every ocean depth from intertidal zone to the abysmal zone. Echinoderms are the largest phylum that has no freshwater or terrestrial members. The first definitive members of the phylum have been said to appear near the start of the Cambrian period. The following are the salient features of this phylum. Symmetry is usually radial and nearly always pentamerous. The body is triploblastic coelomate with distinct aboral and oral surfaces without a definite head. They are of moderate to considerable size, but none are microscopic. The body shape varies from round to star shaped to cylindrical. The surface of the body is not smooth, but rather covered in spines, giving the phylum its name. The body is covered in five symmetrical spaced radiating grooves called ambulacra with five alternating interradii or interambulacra. The body wall consists of an outer epidermis, a middle dermis and an inner lining of a peritoneum. Exoskeleton consists of closely fitted plates forming a shell. This is usually called a theca or a test. The coelom is spacious and occupied by the digestive and reproductive systems. The presence of a water vascular system or ambulacral system is the most characteristic feature of this phyla. It consists of tubes filled with a watery fluid that helps in locomotion. The elementary canal is usually a coiled tube extending from the mouth on the oral surface to the anus on the aboral surface. Respiration occurs through a variety of structures like papillae in starfish, peristomal gills in sea urchin, genital bursae in brittle stars and cloacal respiratory trees in holothrians. The entire excretory system is lacking. The circulatory system is referred to as a blood lacuna system here. The nervous system is quite primitive, consisting of a network concentrated in the radial ganglionic nerve cords. Sense organs are also poorly developed. Both sexual and asexual reproduction can occur. 
The animals are nearly all gonochoric though a few of them can be hermaphrodites. Fertilization is usually external while there are viviparous forms. Development is indirect with characteristical larval forms all of which show bilateral symmetry. The larvae pass through several stages which have specific names derived from the taxonomic names of the adults or from their appearances. The planktotrophic larva is considered to be the ancestral type of larva for all echinoderms but after 500 million years of larval evolution about 68% of species whose development is known have a lecithotropic larval type Many echinoderms have remarkable powers of regeneration In fact many species routinely autonomize and regenerate arms and viscera Echinoderms are globally distributed in almost all depths, latitudes and environments in the ocean. They reach highest diversity in reef environments but are also widespread on shallow shores around the poles where crinoids are at their most abundant and throughout the deep ocean where bottom dwelling and burrowing sea cucumbers are quite common. Sometimes echinoderms account for about 90% of the organisms in that place. While almost all echinoderms are benthic that is living on the sea floor some sea lilies can swim at great velocity for brief periods of time and a few deep sea sea cucumbers are fully floating some crinoids are pseudoplanktonic attaching themselves to floating logs and debris the larvae of echinoderms especially starfish and sea urchins are pelagic and with the aid of the ocean currents they can be transported for great distances reinforcing the global distribution of this particular phylum